to the first episode of Talk Doop with Ryan in 2017. Sorry I never followed up with the 12 days of Talk Doop. The holidays was kind of a tough schedule for me, but um, I'll make those predictions uh, now today. Uh, we got tons of news to come in today. Now, earlier, uh, when this video is going to be put out, I don't know, but I'm recording this around like 7 o'clock Monday night. Um, the Union just put out the funniest video ever. Um, Mo, Will Senio, and Josh Yarrow um, coming out of the van. <laughs> Raindrop, drop top, come on down to the Union shop. Oh, that was so funny. I busted out with laughter as I saw that. And the new Union kit is, um, I like it. It's got some um, blue sleeves here, uh, white down the middle, the Beanbo Philadelphia Union symbol right here. And, um, yeah, sleeves like that. There's like a little V that comes down right here. It's um, blue too. So uh, that's pretty nice. Check that out. Uh, come on down to the Union shop on February 1st to um, get their new, brand new jersey. It's gonna, I think it's nice. Uh, maybe I'll purchase one. I already got like three of them, so we'll see. But it looks it looks pretty nice. Um, the draft the draft was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the Union didn't get any first round picks, but the Union were winners in the um, 2017 Super Draft. We got um, Marcus Epps in the second round. The Union traded up with, I believe it was Minnesota United. Uh, also Aaron Jones, um, Chris Nanko, I believe. Um, those were probably the three most notable guys they, they got in the draft. Those were the first three. Um, tomorrow will be the first Philadelphia Union training session, which is great because, um, number one, big news, um, Maurice Adu was walking out of a car like it was no problem. So his leg must be perfectly, f or not perfectly fine, but he's on the higher stage of getting, getting uh, back on the pitch. Now, hope, I'm not going to be predicting when he's going to come back because you guys know what happened last year when I said he's going to be back uh, July 2nd. Didn't play a single minute. So, um, some other news. The Union signed two players in this uh, window. Um, the Union signed Giuliano Wijnaldum, the brother of Wijnaldum. He plays for Liverpool. Um, good player. I've never, I've never seen his younger brother pl play, which was the guy the Union signed. Uh, hopefully... I'll um, get some information on him so so I can uh, tell you who's going to start at that left back spot. Uh, it's going to be quite a competition between Wijnaldum and Fabi. They're both solid players from what I've seen. They both got skill. They both, well, I don't know about the pace part, but they seem both good. And we have that means we have depth at the left back spot, which is totally good. Um, also signed striker Jay Simpson. It was not the striker I was picturing in my head. Um, no DP, not yet, but I don't really see anything else happening in the future at the number nine spot. Uh, Jay Simpson looks solid, um, plays in like the England D Division Four, but as many people have said, same thing, same case with Bradley Red Phillips, and look, look what he's doing last last year on uh, non VP Golden Boot. But um, you know, when when you're looking into the season, I see many good things happening with the Union. Um, as of now, I'll give you my, what I want starting lineup. Um, I think up top will be Jay Simpson. I don't think the Union would have got him if they don't didn't think he'd start because now they got Sapong, they got Simpson, they got Davies, and Herbers can play there in a pinch. So we got those four, um, all solid players up top, um, which is good. Left wing, Chris Pontius, attacking midfielder. I'm high on Roland Dahlberg. I think he's going to have a good season. Um, you know, he he showed the spark that he can be quality player in MLS. I, so I think we'll get the nod at the number 10 role. People have been saying, no, no, maybe he's going to stay on the bench. But I don't think that's why the Union signed him. I think he's a very versatile player that can play at um, the number 10. And I think he'll have a great season. Uh, right wing, we got LB, El now. I think, Fabian Herbers. I mean... He'll be coming off the bench a lot. He'll be that twelfth man. The um, uh, now the number six spot that's definitely wide open because you know Maurice Adu's status right now is kind of up in the air. I mean, if he can sing the raindrop drop top song and walk around going "Hey, hey, hit the folks, yay!" Uh, well, I'm not. I mean, I guess he can. He'll be pretty 
pretty much fine for the opener, but you know it's going to be a mixed bag with Warren Craval, Brian Carroll, and him. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's going to go on there. Number eight, I think it's definitely going to be Alejandro Bedoya. Um, but he, he said himself that's, that's his favorite position to play. So I think Alberg will start at the ten and Bedoya at the eight. And left back Wijnaldum. I love Fabinho, and I think he'll get like the first couple starts, but Wijnaldum will uh, take over around like April, mid-April. Uh, center back, Richie Marquez, and um, Josh Yarrow, Keegan Rosenberry, and Andre Blake. And, I mean, when I reflect back on that, we got three guys perfectly good com that can come off the bench. We got uh, we got Fabian Herbers, we got um, Marcus Epps, and, and we got CJ Sapong. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what Marcus Epps is going to be like. I, I've never seen him play before, but he looked pretty good in the highlight videos I've seen. And, I mean, the, the Union still have tons of depth elsewhere. So, you know, Born Craval is out there. Uh, we might sign another goalkeeper, I'm assuming, because we only got two. So, I mean, I think this year is going to be a good year, and I'll um, get back to you guys with another report uh, soon. So, the Union got a week of training here, and uh, we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, see you next time on Tough Team Training.